Hi, Aaron Sylvan here, and today I'm really excited. I'm going to show you the best way to get rid of the tripod from the nadir, the bottom of your 360 videos, the tripod, and also the tripod shadow. A few months ago, I did a video on this that was very popular. Now I've got an even better technique. You're going to love this. It's faster, it's easier, and it looks better too. All right, let's get started by opening your project in AutoPano. I'm not going to talk about how to stitch it because I'm assuming you've already done that. And what we're working with is you've got a tripod that's on the bottom of your image right here, okay? In order to edit this, we open up AutoPano Giga. Click here. If we click Move and adjust the panorama, we can look down and we see the tripod. This is what we're trying to remove. I'm going to undo that. Okay, and here's the awesome technique. First step, we're going to change the zoom to exactly 100%. And I hit enter. We are going to now rotate the pitch to be 90 degrees, which means the camera will be pointing straight down. And we see the tripod here. We also see there's some ghosting, and that's because both images are here in this preview. So we're going to switch our blend mode. And now we've got the high quality rendering. You'll notice that the ground is quite clear. The only problem that we have is the tripod. So I'm going to take a screen capture of a fairly decent sized area. Notice that I'm including some of that line, some of that seam that's in the pavement. There, okay, I did that screen capture. I'm going to switch over now to Photoshop. Create a new file, and by default, Photoshop assigns the number of pixels to match what's on my clipboard. Paste. Here's the tripod that we want to get rid of. Now I'm going to switch to the lasso tool, and I'm going to feather it. I think 16 pixels is a good value here. And I'm going to loosely select where the tripod is. There we go. And now watch the magic. Fill. I'm going to do content aware fill. And I hit OK. Bam. Photoshop grabs the texture from the surrounding area. And when we deselect, it's almost completely invisible. That tripod is just lost. Now for the next step, I'm going to lasso an area that's larger than where the tripod is and that has an irregular shape and that includes a specific, a specific element like that line that we have over here. Okay, now I'm going to select inverse and hit delete. I'm going to hide that background layer and here we have a beautiful patch. The number of pixels is exactly what the camera had captured right, because we did that 100%, and uh, it's, so it's going to fit correctly, it's going to look correct, and it doesn't have the shape of a tripod in it. So now I'm going to take this file, save as, sidewalk patch, I'm going to save it as a PNG, because that preserves the transparency, and done. Switch back to AutoPano Giga, and this part will look familiar if you've seen my other tutorial, we're going to click here to add a new layer. That new layer must be called Patch. I'm going to add an image to that layer. Here's my file, Sidewalk Patch. And look what's happened. Already the tripod vanished from the screen. Let's see what's really going on is the section of sidewalk that I grabbed has, uh, you remember I caught a little bit of that gutter? Here we've got it, we're seeing it doubled. So I'm going to click on Move and I'm going to click on picture and picture three. We've got two cameras in this panorama, so my patch is showing up as camera number three. So I click on this three after choosing, uh, after choosing move, I choose move, and then under move picture, I'm clicking there. Now I'm gonna click and drag on this three, and now you can see that little sidewalk line that I grabbed you can see where it came from. So I'm going to make it line up as best I can. And here we go. Now I know that the sidewalk seam is in the right place. I'm going to zoom out a few notches so that we can see what this looks like by context. 
and at this point, if I click blend, that tripod is going to vanish perfectly. Watch. Boom. Tripod's gone. No logo, no circle, no jagged edges, nothing. So now, in order to get this image back to the way it should be, I zoom out the rest of the way. I'm going to go click rotate. I'm going to change that pitch from 90 back to negative 90. Click transform. Here's my scene. Now it looks like the tripod's there, but again, it's because we're in a preview mode. If I click blend, watch what happens to the tripod on the bottom. Right? Here's the tripod. Click blend. Boom. Gone. Perfect. Perfect. Nothing could look better than this. Okay? We are done. So I'm going to save this pano. Close it. Close my way out of Giga. Switch back to Auto Pano Video. And there it is. You can see that the tripod's completely gone and it looks immaculate from any angle. I hope you find this useful. To me, that content aware fill was just like magic. That combined with switching to 100% zoom, I found is just lightning fast. I was able to patch some of these things just a couple of minutes per video by clicking through. You, know, you develop a rhythm, you get used to it, and um, well, it's awesome. Okay, good luck, and hit me up with any questions you have or if there's anything I can do directly to help on one of your projects. Oh.